life. You are stem cells. What's a stem cell? A special type of cell. You can be anything. Stem cells are no ordinary cell. If there was a super cell somewhere in the universe, it's all the stem cells that reside in your body. They are amazing because they can become anything you could ever imagine. And that is why they're so exciting to work with. What are you doing? Why are you looking at us? Because we want to understand what you're doing, how you're behaving, what's going on inside you and how you can help us to treat our bodies when things go wrong. <laughs> Where are we? You're going to live in a dish in pink liquid that we call medium. It's as if uh, the medium is your bed. Think about it like a duvet. Uh, however, you're eating your way through it as well and you also um, deposit your waste in it too. And that is exactly the reason why it needs to be constantly changed. We're gonna change it every day and give you a fresh, new, edible bedding. Something that has a lot of nutrients, vitamins, and something that we call grow factors, because it make you grow. You can also add other things, a bit like a recipe. We can add factors that make you change and become the things that we want you to become. A cell is exactly like a person. Some people do talk to cells, it's, it's true. Please cells behave or do, do what I'm telling you to do. They need you all the time. You have to care a lot for them. You need to change their food, you need to keep them at the right temperature. It's not like a kid that you have it at home and you bring it to, you know, to the school and then uh, to the grandma. And no, no, they, they, they are in the same place all the time. Every morning when I go to the lab, so I just go and check my cells and you can tell if they are happy or not. A happy cell, depending on the cell type, would look um, fairly smooth. The shiny look. Shiny balls. Normally they're quite round. Shiny balls, like uh, these uh, Christmas balls that you put on the tree. The colonies are, are nice and, and round. The nuclei are very defined. The edges are nice. How are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Happy? If a cell, however, becomes unhappy, it becomes more flattened. It doesn't interact much more uh, with the cells around it. Which is that spiky there? They suddenly appear to have like spikes or edges. What is that bubble there? Crumbling up or dissolving a little bit, and uh, definitely that's a that's a bad sign. Oh, what is that? And the cells, for some reason, are unhappy or are dying, are not doing what they're supposed to do. So what you might see the night before being a nice, happy, healthy stem cell, you might find the next morning looking like a fried egg. I'm hungry! I'm starving! They are really a nightmare sometimes. I'm hungry, let You have to plan your, plan your life around the cells, around what the cells want and what they need. So. Time to feed the cells! So imagine timers as um, like a little stress factor that's with you all the time uh, for the entire day. So you might have it in your pocket, you might have it uh, on your t-shirt, you might have it on your lanyard. You'll have it in 10 bags that you have at home, you'll have it in the office, you'll have it everywhere. If it beeps, you have to go. growing right and they are dividing and forming new new cells so uh, suddenly they are too crowded because they like to be uh, to have uh, other cells around but not too many it's like people right you like to have friends but you don't like them all the time just next to you in your house they need to have their space if they don't have all that then they're just not happy if they're not happy uh, then your experiment is lost it's time to split them when the dish gets too full, then we need to put them in another culture dish where there's more space. You need to split them. Next thing you know, you have to feed them again. 
split them again. <laughs> Feed them and split them again. You have to add a reagent every day at the same time. Like weird hours in the night or early in the morning. The nature of culturing and looking after cells is quite repetitive. For one month, two months, maybe even six months before you can actually proceed with doing your experiment. That does become a routine that some people even dream about. I mean, I have really bad days when the cells are dying or things like that. I mean, I mean, it's something because you know, and the more you, you work with them, I feel, the more experience you have, the more you can cope with it. Mm -hmm. But you can't, really? I mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> unless you try because to. I've been working in this for eight, nine years, yeah. and I still get really, like, to the point of crying sometimes. <laughs> I know you want to change, you want to grow up, you want to mature. There's a very fine switch between a stem cell remaining a stem cell and a stem cell becoming a committed or a differentiated specialized cell. I know you want to become different cells, you want to differentiate. You, you are going to be neurons. You're going to be brain cells. Brainy! Let the experiment begin. They are ready. I can do my experiment. I can take a look inside of what is going on on them, what, what is happening between them in the dish, and also what is uh, happening in each single cell. You. We dream about you too. 